Okay. Uh, today we are going to be going over the distance formula. Uh, whoops, wrong screen, sorry. <laughs> uh, all over the background. I'll give you about five seconds. My brother told, you know, my brother was helping with me with this, and he said, why don't you have about five seconds and let them ooh and all over the background, you know. So, I've done that. Or did. For those grammar freaks. Um, the distance formula um, is just like the Pythagorean theorem. And I'd like you to pause the... And, hold on a second. Go ahead and I don't know why that didn't fully, but copy and paste that link into your browser and you should come up with a doctor, what's called a Dr. Burger, uh, Dr. Burger video. Um, so I'll give you about 20 seconds to pause the recording. Okay, by now, you should have unpaused the video, if you have already. Um, now, this video pretty much focused on the Pythagorean theorem, and today we're really going to be focusing on the distance formula and really how to do it, how to figure out it. Um, the midpoint and distance formulas can be used with graphing all types of shapes and lines. Forget the, uh, the statement, use the magnifying glass to see these shapes. I got it off the internet. <laughs> okay. Now. You know, the distance formula is very, 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 very simple. Um, let's see. I guess start out with pencil. Give me a few seconds and I'll get this ready. Um, I'm sorry if you hear guinea like a someone tapping, that's uh, my brother's guinea pig. Also mine, but mostly it's her, his, sorry. Oh, what am I doing? I'm showing you guys this Pythagorean, or yeah, I'm sorry, the distance formula. My brain that. It's kind of late. It's nearing my bedtime, so I'm a little sleepy. Okay, this is close. Distance formula. Don't forget those um, squares. Don't forget to do, do your palace. Um, so, we'll go ahead with that. Um, we'll do a practice one. So, our coordinates are our 
right here. <coughs> this is X. Whoa. That's bad. I'm going to do that. This is X1. This is Y1. X2. I hope you guys can hear me good enough. Hope I'm not doing this wrong because this is my final copy of this this recording. All right, now you don't have to put those x y and x and y two and one there, but it helps me figure out what's what and remember, you know, where is where. I know that didn't make sense. Throughout this uh, ring, will be a little goofy today. There's a little fair warning here. <laughs> okay. Now, this is what I call Plugging in the coordinates. Remember the uh, Blade commercial and their uh, little moto, whatever you want to call it? Plug it in, plug it in. Okay. So, subtract. You get negative 5 squared. Plus... Negative six squared. I'll put the squared up in written. Okay. So sorry, that's my mom. Um this is subtracting. Now, it's highly suggested that you go and get some notes, get some paper and pencil, and write down these steps. These are the basic steps of figuring out a disk formula. Anything, you could take any coordinates from any number. If you took 1,000 and plugged it in to one of the coordinates, you could use it. Don't laugh at me either, because I'm, I'm telling the truth. I got this from my math teacher. And it blew my socks away. I'm like, what? Really? So. As I'm typing this out, I shall give you a tip that I put the on. Um, do not use the calculator to figure out these values. Whoops, let me do a better circle. These values. You may be wondering why. Because they will give you a negative answer and negatives and um take it doing a square root, do not mix. So figure it out in your head. Negative and a negative equals a positive. Simple multiplication rules. Okay. So this Go ahead and say simplify powers. And then add finally sixty one. Oh, but that's not it. I can hear you all going, Oh man. I know, it must suck. You know what the problem is? There's so many steps, but yet it's not so many steps. It's just fun. And that, my friend, equals, whoops, I did a plus sign. I wanted to do an equal sign. Cool. 
Right here is your answer. I keep doing it wrong. Huh? Very bad circle. There. Perfect. Now let's move on to another. But you may be yelling at me. Hey, 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 hold on. Well, pause the video. So and pause the video or don't. Three, two, one, clear it. Okay. I don't think you guys' memory is that sharp. If you took notes, well, great. You would know this is formula by now. Sorry, but I'm not typing it out, doing it all over and over and over again. I'm not that devoted of a teacher. I'm a student. <laughs> Aren't I mean? What am I feeling? Oh, purple, I believe. This little girl just picked purple. Okay. Negative eight. Whoa, what am I doing? Oh, huh? there's seven. Great. I'll write down the coordinates in a second. You guys can see exactly what the coordinates are, how I did things. Seven and negative two, negative eight. Here you go. X one, Y one, X two, Y two. All right, now, I want you guys to quickly go ahead and take like five seconds to figure out, see if you can do the next step. Okay. All right, let's move on. Zero plus negative fifteen squared. Time's up. I gave you 15 minutes from the time that I knew you came upstairs to work on this. So Your time's recording. up. Your time's up. Yes, ma'am. Downstairs. 